Hey guys, Fabian Ast007 here, back with another video, and um, this is episode 48 of my pickups. Um, yeah, got quite a bit of stuff to show you. Didn't realise I bought this much again, but I have. Um, as you might have noticed, I'm sporting a very uh, cool piece of kit here. It's not that cool, I look like a dick, but. Um, yeah, first pickup, I got these. Um, Turtle Beach Wii U uh, headphones for a fiver from CEX. Um, these are proper cool. You can see they're Turtle Beach branded. They've got the Wii U logos on the side. Fully adjustable. Even fit a massive melon head like mine. Uh, you can, if you want this bit on the right hand side, you're like this. If you want it on the left, you just flip it around. Really, really cool headphones for a fiver. I mean, they've got the the volume control and a mute button on here. Yeah, I bought these for one reason and one reason only, and that is to give uh, my good Welsh mate Steve shit when I'm beating him on Mario Kart. Because he's plugged right into your, Mar to your Wii U uh, controller. And uh, yeah, you can give all your friends shit while you're beating him at Mario Kart online. So yeah, I believe uh, I passed uh, this information on to Steve, and I believe you're getting some, mate. So as soon as you've got some, Text me and um, I'll start winding you up on Mario Kart, mate. So it should be fun. So, yeah, absolute bargain now, I think. Um, what should we do next? Oh, God. Um, I'll show you what I've shown you already, I suppose. Like a lot of people, I picked up Mario Kart 8. Did a um, separate video for this about um, kind of Mario Kart history and stuff. I've got all the Mario Kart games. I want the SNES version boxed, but yeah, yeah that's by the by. Yeah, yeah um, this game is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I think I've three starred it all at 50cc. I've done a few at 100, and I haven't three starred any at 150 yet. But um, yeah, lots of replayability in this. I haven't tried it online yet. I tried it a couple of times, and it wouldn't connect me to anyone online. I don't know if everyone, everyone else has had that problem or not, or if it's just me, but excuse me, I'm a bit hay feverish today. Um, yeah, so um, absolutely superb game. Kids, can't get the fucking kids off of this game. It's so good. And I've got the, um, the limited edition. Very cool, which comes with the blue shell. You know if you're in first place one of these is going to smash you at some point. Cool little stand. So that's that. No. Got the game's done. Yeah. Oh um, yeah. Oh sorry. I don't, I've got to just jump straight into the game. I don't tell you what I've been up to. Uh, other than work, um, I've been decorating my little girl's room as well. So the house has been a shithole. That stuff has been spread far and wide through the house. But that's pretty much finished now, so the, the, yeah, that's what I've been doing, just by the way. Uh, next up, I should, well, I don't know why I bought this. I don't own a Master System, but I bought Mercs for the Master System. Don't ask me why I bought it. Well, I know, it was 99p posted, so. And I do intend on getting a Master System at some point, so. It's, it's all in good nick, complete. 99p, I mean can't go wrong, can you? Even if it's shite. I have no idea. I, I know nothing about the Master System, so... Tell me it's shite down here, and that's all good. I've got, actually, we've got a lot of different games for different systems this week. Um, next up, from CX, for seven quid, I've got Tetris on the 3DS. Uh, I've not played it yet, but, you know, I love Tetris. Uh, like new. Seven, yeah, seven quid's not bad. It's about what it goes for on Flea Bay, so happy to have that. Um, oh, that reminds me, I've got um, a new system coming in the post, and I think I've got an absolute bargain. I can't wait to show you that. I think that'll be coming in next week, so that'll be my next pickup vid. But I'll probably do just a video on that to be honest, because I'm so excited to have it. I think I've got an absolute bargain. So watch this space. Uh, next up, I picked up another PS4 game, just because I wanted something different to play on it. It wasn't expensive. I got Putty Squad. 
think this was 12.99, brand new. Uh, looks a bit of a puzzly game, puzzly platforming type game, I think. But um, it looks pretty good. Like I say, brand new. So yeah, looking forward to giving that a crack. I've got absolutely chuffed with these from CEX. I, I put a picture on um, the Tubby Tubers, the group on Facebook about these. I don't know if you can see the price there. Um, fiver for some boxed bongos. I've been after these for a while anyway. But um, the, the, the slip's a bit tatty, but the box underneath is in real good nick. So, And there's the game. So for a fiver, I thought... I've heard some people say the game's not great, but I think my kids would enjoy it, to be honest. And I'm, I'm a big drums fan, so... Fiver. Can't go wrong, right? Uh, the rest of the stuff is PS3. I've actually got some. Remember, I don't use the rare word for PS3 games. I've got some um, harder to find titles to show you. It's weird how it came about, really, because three of the games I've been after for you know a fair while. I mean, they haven't been out that long, but you know what I mean. I've, I've been on the lookout for them for a while, and just in one week, I got all all three of them. So. Um, yeah, the first one isn't one of them. This is just a game I've wanted, which looks pretty good. But and that is uh, Killer is Dead. Uh, looks. Um, give it some stars. Yeah, it looks uh, slightly anime type graphics. I'm guessing you get to kill some dudes because there's a big samurai sword on the front. Um, yeah, this was eBay. Real good nick. Uh, eight quid, I think. Which. Is about the right price for it, really. But next up is one of the rare games, and um, I've I use CEX online quite a bit now. Um, I've had reasonably good experience with it. You know, it's always a bit of a roll the dice whether you get a manual and what condition it's going to be in. But I'd say 90% of the stuff I've had has been spot on. So uh, yeah, this game I've kept checking and checking and checking because it's on their list, but they never have any in stock. And um, you might look at it and think, oh, what a shitty game. And it probably is, but it's it's pretty hard to come by. So for eight quid, I got Rapal, I can never say it, Rapala Fishing Frenzy 2009. Chuffed a bit to have this. It cost me eight quid, uh, which is a steal. It still goes for, it can go for 20, 20 odd quid, but it's just getting hold of the fucking thing in good condition, which this is. So yeah, real happy to have that. That's, uh, one of the hardest find ones off the list for the future, so it's all good. And again, this is another one, um, not an easy to find title, still fetches a bit of a pretty penny on eBay and stuff. And that is Fritz by Chess Base. Yes, a chess game. Um, I got this, I think I paid 11 quid for this, which is a good deal for this game. Um, I've got to swap the cases out because there's stickers all over and stuff, but I'm not going to fuck about them. I've got to love the cases and stuff. Uh, it's all complete and good, Nick. I think there's a bit of a scratch on the disc. Yeah, there's a few like scuffs and stuff. Like, you probably won't be able to see it, but yeah, that'll play fine. So yeah, real, real happy with those. And the last deal I got mm, might be the best deal of the lot. I got. Uh, five games for sixteen pounds and eleven pence, I believe I paid. Which uh, the bottom four are not great games, and I've got already, and I don't care about. But the top one still goes for thirty quid normally. So um, to find it in a bundle like this, I was really happy with, and hopefully I could sell the bottom four for a few quid, and it'd be an even better deal. But I mean, yeah, this game alone worth thirty quid, so sixteen quid for all of it. Well happy. And I'll, I'll show you the garbage ones first, I suppose. Uh, Madden 09. I think these are complete. I don't really look, to be honest. Oop. Yeah, Madden 09 complete. And if anyone wants these four games, or trade them or whatever, just let me know. But I doubt anyone will. Madden 09. Uh, F1 Championship Edition complete. Uh, someone might want this. Battlefield 3, limited edition, no manual. Uh, and this one's pretty good as well. NBA Jam. Complete. And this 
obviously the NTSC version because of the Wii. It's not all that matters. But yes, those four games are going to be gone at some point. The game I wanted out of the lot was Rugby Challenge 2. The Lions Tour Edition. And as you can see, the guy bought it off paid 46 quid for it. And this will still go for 30 quid and up. And it's absolutely spanking. For some reason, um, my fellow PS3 collectors will know rugby games go for a fair bit of money on the PS3. I don't know why. I've got, um, I think Rugby Challenge 1 is the John Lomu game, which I've got sealed. So, yeah. I think I'm only missing one other rugby game now. But yeah, I mean, that's um, three really sought after titles for the PS3 collection. Well, happy. Uh, I did count the other day again. I think that's 628 or 29, something like that. Um, I'm hoping, I'm still trying to find somewhere to supply me wood for my new game shelf. I'm looking for somebody that will cut it all to length and I can just screw it together. Because I want to build a shelf that will hold a thousand PS3 games. Um, yeah, I want like 10 shelves of 100. I've measured it out and I'm pretty sure it will fit fairly comfortably. Yeah, I'm going to make it so, you know, PS3 games fit snugly. Not not for like full size Wii games or whatever, just that little bit smaller so, I've got, so I can fit them all in one spot, hopefully. So that's the plan. And I'm going to build a new shelf on this side for all my Nintendo y stuff because that's getting pretty full as well. Yeah, and I keep buying stuff, so need more space somehow, so that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, uh, oh, I think I've wrapped that up fairly quickly for the amount of stuff I have. Yeah, like I said, I've got something fucking awesome in the post which I'm really looking forward to showing you good people. Really, really excited. Something I've been after for a little while. I showed my, uh, my good mate, Welsh, uh, Steve36207, showed him, and he kind of thought it was a decent deal. So, yeah, look forward to doing that. I also think I'm going to do my own 10 questions soon. I've waited a while, because everyone did theirs, I don't know, a couple of months ago, whatever, so I thought I'd wait a little while to do mine. Might do that today, might do it tomorrow. Just trying to think of some good questions at the minute, which nobody else has asked yet. So, yeah, hopefully I'll see lots of video responses for that. So, um, thank you very, very much for watching, and um, I'll see you all in the next one, guys. Cheers.